Okay, I'm back. It's been a minute. We've been a bit busy with Bug Jam and Tatton Hall Volkswagen show. Um, speaking of the last show I went to, I managed to pick up a set of these, which I've been after forever. Um, basically, what these do, it blocks the hot air coming from your dashboard to give your rear passengers heat. Now, mine's a camper conversion, so I don't need to warm up the rear passengers, because there isn't any. As you can see, they absolutely disgust them. And I think that one's been hand-painted with a brush. Got a little bracket here, I think, for an old fan. So I'm going to get that removed, get the paint cleaned up, get them resprayed, and, uh, yeah, get them fitted. I'm going to show you where these go now. So basically, the heat will run through the totem pole, through this chamber. When your door is closed, the heat will run through this channel in the door section. And the heat will then run through here, behind the driver's seat, same for the passenger side, and into the rear cab area. I'm not going to be using that feature, so I'm going to be removing these off the door cards. And basically those covers I bought go in here. I don't know why there's a wire hanging down where that comes from. Anyway, those covers I bought basically block up this hole. So then the dash tray will look a little bit neater as well once I've done that. So yeah, let's crack on. Got some thinners. Let's see if it comes up. Depending on where it's been painted in, I might need something a bit stronger. Ah, now as you can see, that's coming off. Quite easy actually. I don't think that's actually going to take that long. We might darse it, let it soak in a bit, and come back to it in a minute. Looks like it was uh, obviously the black. We've got a green coming through. At some point in its life, it was orange. And then we've got white underneath that, so yeah, great. Four coats of paint. Thinners was evaporating too quickly. I managed to find some um, paint stripper, so I've applied that with a brush. Gave it a nice thick coat, and it is starting to react. So hopefully, I'm just going to lift this paint right off for me. Oh, so satisfying. Paint stripping completed. Can't get this original paint off, so I'm just going to leave it. I'm going to get those two holes welded up though. Remember, it doesn't matter how bad you are welding, this is your best friend. There we go, holes welded up. Not bad for saying I don't weld. As anything, when you're painting, tack cloth. Get rid of the dust with a tack cloth. Your first coat is your primer. Don't go too heavy. You want to dust it on, allow it five minutes to go tacky, and then I go a little bit heavier with your next coat. I'm going to leave this for a couple of minutes and then I'm going to hit it with base coat. Same wall applies with base coat, nice and light to start off with. Build it up slowly, and there we have the finished product. And here we are after two coats of lacquer. It's about the best you're going to get out of a spray can, so we're going to let these dry and get them fitted. Thanks for watching.